Hundreds of thousands of worthy causes attract millions of dollars in donations. Some are huge, like the Red Cross. Others might be your local church homeless outreach center. The vast majority have a tax-exempt status from the Internal Revenue Service called a 501c3, making it a registered nonprofit organization able to accept tax-deductible donations. Something you should keep in mind, having a 501c3 does not necessarily make an organization legitimate. For example, the Navy Veterans Association, the group operated from a Florida storefront and P.O. box and collected millions of dollars for its 85 non-existent trustees. Want to ask the founder how he got a 501c3 rating? You can, just as soon as six state attorneys general find him. So whether the charity is big, small, credible, or questionable, in order for your donation to be tax deductible, a charity needs a 501c3. And that has become more complex because the IRS, acting on orders from Congress from a few years ago, now requires all charities to re-register. Those who failed to had their tax-exempt status revoked. 275,000 of them now have no rating. Just as having a 501c3 is no guarantee of honesty, having it revoked does not make an organization dishonest. Consultant to nonprofits Tony Martinetti says many of the groups on the revocation list are small with little time for administrative tasks. Know the charity you're giving to. Make sure they didn't lose their tax-exempt status. So Google IRS revocation list and look for the charity you're giving to to make sure it's not on that list. If it is, you better talk to the charity. Again, the place to check is irs.gov slash revocation. I'm Ace Aarons, New York One, Consumer Watch.